Hello everyone. Today I am presenting a comprehensive guide to regulatory dossier and its format. Regulatory dossier is a package of documents, which may include all required information regarding newly developed drug products and or generics, which is required by EU and US regulatory authorities for granting marketing authorization approvals. This includes all the information regarding administration, labeling, packing of drug product as well as the study regarding quality, efficacy and stability of drug product. This data is available in paper version as well as the ECT. Common technical document. Format. Hence the paper version is enormous so most of the agencies now prefer ECT format. In 2003, the members of ICH, International Council of Harmonization, have agreed to assembly all quality, safety and efficacy information in a common format which used to be called CTD. The CTD is a format structure for modules 1 through 5 of the NDA, New Drug Application, MAA, Marketing Authorization Application, and Global Medicinal Applications. Module 1 contains administrative regional information which is differ for each country. Modules 2, 3, 4 and 5 are common for all regions. The CTD structure applies to both investigational and commercial applications, IND, Investigational New Drug, and NDA US, IMPD, Investigational Medicinal Product Dossier, and MAA, EU, and Global Applications. CTD Module 1 Section contains regional administrative and labeling documents. All applications and related submissions have the same organizational structure for documents of Module 1. One cover letter includes regulatory description of the submission, technical description of the submission, approximate size of the submission, for example, 2 GB, antivirus software used in the submission, name, version and company name, a regulatory and technical point of contact for the submission, including email address. Field copy certification. Field copy certification should be included within ECT for marketing applications. It can be a letter, which is submitted to district office, and it includes drug and application number, FDA center and division. Application is in ECT format. 3. The references references may contain the following subsections. A. Letters of authorization. Lowers. B. Cross-referencing previously submitted information that is not in electronic CTD format. 4. Marketing annual reports. 5. Informational amendments. This can be used as submission of response to informational request where the information being submitted does not fit under any heading in Module 2. 3. 4 or 5. 6. Labeling. Describes how to provide specific labeling documents. 7. Advertisements and promotional labeling material. 8. Risk evaluation and mitigation strategy. REMS. Specifications for European Union. EU. Module 1. Administrative information and prescribing information cover letter. Comprehensive table of contents. Application form. Application form. Depending on the type of the submission relevant application form should be included in regulatory dossier. New applications and extension applications. Variation applications. Renewal applications. Other specifications of module 1. Product information. Information about experts. Information about applications. Product information. Summary of product characteristics SPC. Labeling and package leaflet. Pill. Mock-up. Specimen. Consultation with target patient groups product information already approved in the member states. Information about the experts. In this section it is necessary to include information regarding experts with providing detailed reports of the documents and information which constitute modules 3, 4, and 5 in accordance with Article 12 of Directive 2001 stroke 83 EC. Subsections of information about the experts in presented below. Summary of quality data. Non-clinical data studies. Clinical data studies. Module 1 specification also includes specific requirements for different types of applications. Information for bibliographical applications. Information for generic, hybrid or biosimilar applications. Extended data market exclusivity. Exceptional circumstances. Environmental risk assessment. Information relating to orphan market exclusivity. Information relating to pharmacovigilance. Pharmacovigilance is the science and activities related to detecting, assessing, understanding, and preventing adverse effects or any other drug-related problems. 
This applies throughout the life cycle of medicine equally to the pre-approval stage as to the post-approval. The pharmacovigilance system is a very important section for applying marketing authorization. Other things must include in Module 1. Risk Management System. Information related to clinical trials. The section of 1.9 must be prepared according to Article 8. IBOV Directive 2001-83-EC4 report to the effect that clinical trials carried out outside the European Union meet the ethical requirements of Directive 2001-20-EC should be provided. Where applicable, information relating to pediatrics. For all new applications. For a medicinal product which is not authorized in the EEA. For applications for new indications, new pharmaceutical forms and new routes of administration. For authorized medicinal products which are protected either by a supplementary protection certificate, or by a patent which qualifies for the granting of such a certificate. For pediatric use marketing authorization applications, Puma. For module 1 can be provided. Response to questions. Responses to questions in those instances when applicants are advised to include in this section a document which lists the questions with the corresponding narrative text response for each question. And when responses also contain new or updated data documents related to modules 3, 4 and or 5. Additional data. This section is required based on authorization procedure. Additional data may need to be provided as part of a national, decentralized or mutual recognition application. If such data related to modules 2, 3, 4 and or 5, the documents should also be placed in the relevant sections of those modules. I hope you like my presentation. Next time I will make presentation of module 2, and module 3 in detail. Thanks for watching it.